Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Hi, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Madden Money Shot, bringing you some more Mud 18 sleepers. That's right, we got some more budget beasts. Today, I'm going to be doing basically all the defensive linemen, whether they're pass rushers, run stoppers. I'll also be doing outside linebackers because I'm just going to put that all in one video. I'm going to give you the best guys. Uh, either control the run game or to get after the quarterback and we're gonna do it all like I said in this one vid so I'm not sure how long this vid's gonna be because uh, I'm technically doing three positions but uh, this is definitely gonna be one of the last couple videos that I'm gonna be doing on the 17th if you have Xbox Madden essentially drops at least you get about 10 hours of play uh, which I will be starting from there making videos like I used to uh, but for now I'm just continuing with these budget beasts just getting these out uh, just kind of buying buying time until the new Madden comes out so I'm glad you guys are watching this. I'm hoping you guys are enjoying it. Uh, other than that, let's go ahead and let's get right into uh, the first player. All right, so we'll start off with defense events. First guy I got on my list, Dante Fowler Jr. Here's a guy that was a top draft pick a couple years ago. Hasn't really worked out in the NFL. A lot of it was because of injuries, but he's a beast in Madden. 79 speed. Speed's one of the most important things when it comes to defensive linemen. Once they get past their blocker, uh, that speed takes over. Acceleration is really important, too. A lot of times you don't need top speed if you have top acceleration. Well, this guy has both. And then he has 70 power move, 70 finesse move, 82 hit power. That's one of the higher hit powers in this game, especially for a gold card. Uh, you want those type of guys because once they get to quarterback, they can force a lot of fumbles. So this is a guy you can definitely start on the outside. Next up, we got Emmanuel Agba. This guy right here, another uh, relatively young player. I think he's more like a second round pick for, uh, for Cleveland. But either way, very similar stats. 79 speed, very good. 82 acceleration. Once again, those things are really important. Uh, but he's a little bit better in categories like hit power, which is an 80. Auto force more fumbles when he gets to that QB. Uh, and his pass rush move, his 80 power move is a lot higher than Dante Fowler Jr. So this guy here might actually be a little bit of an upgrade over the first card. Next up, we got Frank Clark. I think this is a guy who was a man of the month last year. And he had a pretty decent card. I used him quite a bit. I think it was like an 88 overall. Now he's an 81 overall, so he's just barely a budget beast. Just barely over the elite line. Uh, but he's got some really top-notch. Uh, categories like his speed 78 it's pretty good it's pretty much on par with what I've been showing you 84 acceleration is one of the highest accelerations out of these players that I'm going to show you I think he's like top uh, at least top 10 with that 82 strength is really really good too 80 block uh, shed is also really nice um, and all of his other categories are pretty much above 70 so hit power as well he's a he's a front page hit power guy probably in the top 30 as far as defensive ends and hit power. Next up, we got another Cleveland Browns player, Miles Garrett, the number one pick. This guy right here, they definitely did him good. Um, one of the things that really stands out is his strength. 89 strength is one of the highest you're going to see at a defensive end. And the fact that he's a rookie is just outstanding. Next up is a guy that I can tell you from personal experience that this is one of my favorite pass rushers in the game last year, Charles Tapper. I use this guy in my salary uh, cap mode quite a bit. I use him a defensive tackle as well because he actually has a pretty good strength. Um, had, didn't do much for the Cowboys last year in real life, but 79 speed's definitely up there. A2 acceleration. Uh, all of his run defense stats are in the 70s. So like I said, I played him at DT and he did a pretty good job. Next up, we got Bud Dupree. Here's another guy that I use quite a bit. Not in my actual salary mode, but I use him a lot in DC. I found him quite a few times. And he's just a playmaker. I mean, outstanding uh, athlete once again. Uh, that's obviously very important when it comes to stuff like this. We move down and look at his general stats 81 speed a3 acceleration a6 jump he's also six foot four his hit power at an 84 is one of the higher as well and then you can see his run defense like pursuit and tackling is close to 80 so this guy right here um, he's just a great player all around. Next up, we got Leonard Floyd of the Chicago Bears, another guy that I, I use quite a bit. A lot of these guys I'm telling you about are really from experienced players that really worked out well for me. Uh, but this guy's stats are, once again, physical freak, A speed, A6 jump, A2 acceleration, A agility. This guy's just, uh, he's, he's like a Javon Curse clone out there. And then all of his run defensive stats are all above 70 as well, as well as the pass rushing stats. So really good player all around. Moving on from edge rushers to interior rushers, the first card that I have to show is Aaron. Donald. This is one of the free team elites that you can choose when you buy the game, whether you buy the GOAT edition or the regular edition. And I'm going to tell you why he's one of the better cards. Right out the gate, his strength, 83, is one of the highest in the game, and his speed at a 72 is one of the highest in the game. Uh, so this guy, for me, is probably the guy that I'm going to pick up. Um, to be honest with you, him and I'm probably going to take Ray Lewis in the middle linebacker and just basically strengthen my defense right at the center. Uh, other than that, everything he's got is pretty much above a 70 with the exception of his jumping, which who really cares. Uh, his hit power which is about two points short, but what do you expect that to be defensive tackle? But this is one of the better cards to pick 
for a free elite. Next up, I got Solomon Thomas, a guy that's actually been compared to Aaron Donald in the past. And if you go by some of his stats, his 77 speed is the highest of any goal card. It's the second highest of any defensive tackle in the game, aside from the 90 overall Aaron Donald that's out right now. So this guy right here, along with his 88 strength, with his, which is outstanding for a strength, I mean, he's got some of the best physical attributes in the game, and he's just a rookie. So this is a guy that I think, it, I don't know what he's going to cost, but day one, this is probably the best, cheapest defensive tackle you can find. Another really good rookie defensive tackle is Malik McDowell out of the Seahawks. I don't know what round he went in. I think it was the second or third round, but either way, he's got some really good physical attributes another good speed card 71 speed like i said for a defensive lineman you're not going to find a lot faster a2 strength is really good as well all of his other stats are just around underneath 70 so they're all pretty good 77 excel uh, but this is a really good card you should be able to get this card pretty cheap all right so that's it some nice budget beast sleepers to get after the quarterback we all know that's important especially this year since uh you know they're saying that's going to be really hard to do so hopefully they'll get the job done for you if you guys want to see quarterbacks and running backs tomorrow hit the like button and i'll put that out other than that thanks for watching mad money shout out